So I'm excited to unveil this new app based on Python. So what you have is a step-by-step -step process to compute features for further uh, workflows or to better understand your 3D data set. And here, if you want to view in 3D, again, you can view in 3D your point cloud. So this is our point cloud colored by height. Now let's move on to the next step where I compute the density. And as you can see, this is our density. Of course, uh, you can adapt all the parameters that are here. Next, we can compute the adaptive neighbor densities as well and how many neighbors we have per point. After that, what I do is I compute uh, geometric features. So this is one that you will have density estimate from. Let's move even more. This is ground and curve data. So this is what you will have. Let's move even more. I normalize. I don't sample point to keep only a specific uh, ratio and I can save the result outside and reuse it outside. So this is a small data set. So now let's work with another data set, which is uh, maybe a bit bigger. And you can see this is our base point cloud. So this is uh, an industrial area. And this is the beauty of this little app is that it allows you to work with this kind of point cloud very easily and compute the various features and also have them exported, which I will show you right away. But in this specific example, I want to show you how you can leverage that also to downsample your point cloud to only key point based on specific feature signature. And this is what we have here. If I were to look at this specific feature, you can see that we could leverage that to have more linear uh, structure out, which is very important in this kind of planar dominant scene. Now, once the features are normalized, we can downsample them based on the signature that we have. And you see that we retain only super dominant points. And here in Cloud Compare, when you load the PLY file, you can add Scala field and you see that you have the various one, the planarity, uh, the linearity, and also sometimes you have classification, segmentation information. And this is what you have. This is the sample data set. So if I were to change to uh, planarity, you see the features that we have. So this is also super useful. And this is actually part of a new course line 3D machine learning system that aim to teach frugal AI for semantic segmentation and more. Uh, and in this case, you can see that downsampling to only the key point allow to have a complete system work with very little amount of data, but down the lane upscale to the full um, data set. So this is fantastic. How to use it is the next question. 